Hi guys, this is Piper and welcome to a Saturday kitchen tip. Yes, it's Saturday and well, I've got a recipe to show you. It's a really nice recipe for when you're a little cold. You can have it with your girlfriend, with your mother or with your guy friends too. Mm -hmm. It's hot, warm apple cider. And I even add some special spices in it. Mm -hmm. That's my secret tip. Are you ready for the recipe? Yes? Okay, let me show you what you need. You need one apple, one orange, apple juice. I prefer this one because like it's really thick and it's made from real real apples. Then you're gonna need some special spices. Cinnamon sticks, ginger, I like to keep mine fresh, and cloves. This is nutmeg. And this is for later. You'll need a saucepan to put everything in it. Here, this is mine. Well, if you want to make bigger quantities, you need a bigger thing like this. But it's just for me, so this is big enough, you know? Cut your orange into slices. Just take the other ones and put them in. The fruits are only there for the flavor. Just want it to taste delicious. Now it's time for the ginger. You only need two pieces. One and two. Just put them in. As for the spices, well, it kind of depends what you like. Like if you don't like cinnamon, don't put it in. But if you do, then you should put major quantities in it. Use cinnamon stick. This way it tastes better. One, two, and then three pieces. That's gonna be enough. We're gonna add some cloves. You see how pretty they are? Maybe one, two, three. This is nutmeg. Careful, nutmeg is a pretty powerful spice. So this should be enough. Now you need to add the apple juice that you want. But first you need to shake it because sometimes there's a little deposit of apple. So let's just shake it. It's all pretty much shaken. Pour some everywhere. Like this. Now you see, it already smells good. Wait until it's warm. It's gonna smell even better. Place it at medium, medium high heat. You don't want it to boil, but you want it to become pretty warm because you want your apples and your oranges to just kind of all mingle together and for the tastes, to taste, to mix. Mm -hmm. So then you, when you drink it, it's like all flavorful everywhere. Okay guys, so now you need to take one orange and one apple slice from this. That's going to be your decoration. Yeah, it's if you want to be fancy and all and you want to impress your date, you know, or your mother, whatever. Add a cinnamon stick, just so it's really nice and you can swirl it around. And now it's time to pour in the juices. This is the non-spiked version. So it's kids friendly and well, anyone who doesn't really drink friendly. Mm -hmm. It smells awesome. It's like a mix between apple pie and like citrus. Hmm. And you know what else goes really well with this? Well, if you're thinking on like the wild side, you should really add some Jack Daniels because apples and Jack Daniels is just amazing together. It's like basil and tomatoes, but for the alcoholics. Mix it a little.
Mm. This is really good. Especially when you wake up in the morning. It's like a breakfast, you know? There's apple and orange and a whole bunch of really healthy things for you. Uh huh. That's it for today's kitchen tip. I really hope you enjoyed this warm spiced apple cider with a special twist. Mm -hmm. A lot of you have asked when I was going to put the slow motion made video. Well, it's there right now on PiperLush.com. Go check it out. Thank you to my patrons and my subscribers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. Goodbye. Hmm.